And we're down to the final section of the training, the regular part of the training. After this, I have just a few projects where I'll just do some demonstrations using several different tools in individual videos. Okay, let's take a look at our preferences in here. Now, preferences are at the bottom of the edit menu. It's just off screen here. But of course, I have a screenshot for that over here that we had previously. And we have keyboard shortcuts down the right hand towards the bottom. I'll click on that keyboard shortcuts option, bring that up. Here we go. Now, in here, these are all the different shortcuts available. Click on the little triangle there, opens them up, and you can look at the command and the shortcut for that command. We have shortcuts in here for applications, for panel menus. For instance, there's our actions panel. Notice we don't have any shortcut keys in here for the actions panel and for our tools as well. Now if you want to create shortcuts, let's say you wanted to have the new action or maybe the play action, have a shortcut, click on play and then type in your new shortcut. Now if you've already used a shortcut, you won't be able to use it here. For instance, if I come in here and do an Alt M, I can't use that. That's already set up for image adjustments and curves. And if I go ahead and use this, it's going to remove that other one. Let's just try some other ones here. Let's try an O. Actually, let's see, Control O. There we go. That's no good. Let's try a Control Alt O. That's used as well. So you may have to go through and try a few different things in here until you can find one that's available or simply remove one else. There we go. Control Alt and P hasn't been used yet. So I can use this as a shortcut. Click on accept. I can then accept that shortcut and add it into my list. Now once you've done that, you can save these changes to your current set of shortcuts or you can create a new set based on the current set of shortcuts. And that's what I'd recommend doing. If you do this, you'll then have a list up here, even though we now have two showing defaults and defaults modified. I can then save this shortcut set as a new set. But it allows you first in here to come in and look at all of the different available shortcuts wherever they're used throughout the Photoshop program. Or as we just saw, you also can come in here and actually create new shortcuts if you find something which you're doing all the time and you want a keyboard shortcut for that. And that's the shortcuts. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.